Hey everyone, if you have been following me for a while here on YouTube or over on Instagram, you know that I'm still kind of in the process of trying to figure out if I want to use the Hobonichi Cousin as my 2021 planner. Um, I have a couple of different videos talking about it. I have one where I discuss, discuss the pros and cons. Um, there are certain things that I love about it. I absolutely love the layout. I love that it is um, monthly, weekly, daily, but there's certain things that I don't like such as the paper and all the writing on the pages. So I've kind of been on a mission to see if I could find anything comparable um, or if I should just give up and try the Hobonichi. It's just that it's a little over $50, so I don't want to just start using it and then not like it and have it go to waste. So I'm still kind of in the process of um, figuring out if I want to use it. And so on that mission, I have been looking for other planners that I feel like may be comparable or may be dupes for the Hobonichi Cousin. So that's what we're going to talk about today. I hope you guys are excited about this video. I found some really good planners and I want to talk through them with you all. If you are new around here, welcome. My name is May. I am a lawyer, a mediator, an entrepreneur, and I create content all over social media about the things that I love. And one of those things is planners. So I'm happy that you have found me. If you have not subscribed yet, I hope that you will and you'll stick around and check out my other content. And if you are coming back to my channel and are a longtime follower, I really appreciate you and welcome back. All right, so I have two planners that I want to share with you guys today. We're gonna go through them, show you some of the different features. I have come to the conclusion after my very extensive search that there is not another monthly, weekly, daily planner out there. At least not one that has the entire year in one book. So I should say that was a criteria for me. Um, I even looked at the Hobonichi Cousin Avec, which splits the year into two books, um, but I really wanted to stay in one book for the year. So there were a couple of planners that I found that did have monthly, weekly, daily, but they were only um, three months and four months at a time. So I would have ended up with four books or three books for the whole year, and I just didn't want that. I wanted everything in one book. So I just have not found anything else that has all three of those in it. If you guys know of one, if there's anything that I've missed, please let me know in the comments down below. But I have scoured the internet. I've looked all over Amazon. Um, I've even gone through Etsy. I didn't want a printable, but I've like searched through Etsy as well. I can't find it. So um, the best, the next best thing are these monthly daily journals. So I found two of them. I wish they had that weekly overview, um, but they don't. So let me show you guys these two planners. Um, you may like them and you may you know, wanna pick them up as an alternative. I will tell you at the end which one I am leaning towards, but I wanted to just give you guys um, a look at some of the features. So let's start with this Moleskine. Um, this is the 2021 Daily Planner. Now, it's day per page and it is ruled. Um, I believe there were a couple of different options for the cover. I just chose the black. It is a soft cover. Um, it's not hard bound and it does fit in the Moterm covers. So that was another thing that, um, it wasn't a deal breaker for me, but I really wanted to use my Moterm cover and this one does fit it in there perfectly. Let me show you. So here is my Moterm. Let me take out the notebook that it comes with. I use this as a bullet journal. I love this thing. If you're not familiar with Moterm, which I was not, I just like randomly discovered it on Amazon um, and made a video about it because I loved it so much. So I'll link that down below for you guys. Check this out. It's so good. If you've not heard of them, this is one of my, probably my new like favorite planner discovery. So I don't want to take this cover off, but it just slips. I would cut this band off if I um, decide to use it, but it just slips in this back pocket perfectly. And then it does snap. Now it is tight, um, 
but it does snap. So it does fit in the mode term. Okay, so now let's go through this. All right, so when you open it up, you can see the paper is not white. It's kind of this creamy color. This is the cover page, so it's a little bit thicker, but here are the pages. I would say these are definitely thicker than the paper in the Hobonichi, but still very thin. I can see, um, I think it's, yeah, it's coming up on camera too. I can see straight through it. So I don't know how well this is going to take a fountain pen. From what I understand, the paper in the Hobonichi um, is designed for fountain pens. Again, I'm just, I'm not a huge fan of how thin that paper is, but apparently it works really well. So it has a few um, initial pages in the front, has these large yearly overviews. And then we go into the monthly pages. Now, all the months are together at the front. One thing to be aware of is it's only one page per month. It's not two pages per month. So these squares are very small. This is something that I, I don't know how I'm gonna, I don't know how I feel about it. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to work with this or not. I wish they would have taken up the whole page, but they did put a note section. I wish they would have taken two pages. Um, but anyway, this is what it is. So one page per month, very small squares. It goes through everything and they are not, you know, they're not split up by days. They're all together at the front. And then just some holidays, maps, measures and conversions. I just find it so funny that planners still now in 2020 are in 2021 are still printing these things. But anyway, I guess it's fun. Um, travel planning, it could be fun. I like this. My extraordinary moments this year. This says make this space your own. So I guess they provide templates on their website. Um, my blank space that you can use. Let's see, inspiring journeys, that is nice and sad at the same time. A ruler, um, all right, daily diary begins. You can see here it also has a little legend. Um, oh, and I guess there is the moon phases as well. That's kind of cool. All right, here are the daily pages. So one page per day. I like that it's lined, but as you can see, it does have a few things down the side. This looks like the times, but it's just so small and light that it's not distracting at all. And then again, there's some more things up here um, that have to do with that legend, but not distracting. So um, as long as you like lined pages, this is much simpler than the Hobonichi, even though it does have some things printed on the page. It's not completely blank, but again, not as much as the Hobonichi. And it just goes through every day. Saturday and Sunday also get their own day per page. I'm planning to use my um, planner for next year as more of a memory keeper and journal. Um, I do use a digital calendar for appointments and I kind of have an extensive system for how I get things done. So I'm not going to be keeping appointments in here. This will be mostly for memory keeping. If I end up going with this planner and I don't have the weekly spread, then there may be some days that to do's will be um, included as well. But I really plan on using my planner as more of um, vision casting and um, kind of like a big picture manifestation um, tool. So I think this will work out really nicely. I'm just so bummed that it doesn't have the weekly spread. Um, and then goes all the way through. There's a very few note pages in the back and then the pocket as well. And it does have the band to close it. So if you don't want to use the mo term, you can um, just keep it secure with that. Okay, so here's Moleskine. Now let me show you guys this dapper desk from Emily Lay. If you're not familiar with Emily, she's the creator of the Simplified Planner and I believe she has worksheets and things like that as well. I recently attended EntreCon, which is an entrepreneurial conference. Um, it was online this year, but I did attend it, I guess, from my living room. And I got to hear Emily speak, really enjoyed the things that she had to say. So um, I will be writing a blog post about that. So you can, I'll leave that linked once it's published and you can kind of check that out. But I like Emily and I like her story. So I was excited to see that she has a a line that is not as colorful as her simplified planners 
even though the simplified planner is minimal, which I can appreciate, it still has a lot of colors and that's just not my thing. So the Dapper Desk line is, I would say a little more elevated, a little more chic. So again, this is a daily monthly. I got the navy cover and this is a much thicker cover. So I would not put this um, in the mo term. This would just have to be a standalone book and you can see it is thick. Let me compare it. They're pretty much the same size. But you can see here the paper on Emily Lay's um, planner is completely white, whereas Moleskine is a much more creamy color. So Emily Lay's planner has this really nice little crest in gold and says 2021, still minimal. And again, this is daily monthly. So looks like this is probably one of her logos in here. Okay, another thing to note is that this does not stay open very well. Um, it's it's hard to, to keep open. So, all right, it's got the yearly 2021, and then we go into the months. This is considerably larger because she does use two pages for one month, has a note section on the side. Um, I mean, they're not large, let me not say that, but compared to the Moleskine, they are larger boxes. I do love that this is a very clean and minimal font and there's not a lot happening here, which I can really appreciate. And it is in navy. All right, and then, um, and the months are separating the days. So another big difference is they're not all together at the beginning of the book. And then we go into the days. So while again, this is minimal, it still has a lot going on. So I think that if I wanted to use this as a journal, it just wouldn't be as conducive because it has the today's schedule, it has a to-do list, and then a large note section at the bottom. So you could technically kind of write over this and if you wanted to sketch or you know, include any pictures or anything like that, you could technically do it um, and it's not so bold that it you could probably do it just fine, but it might look a little bit messy too. I think for me, I wouldn't love it as much. So it goes through the days and then let's see what's at the end of the month. So it looks like there is a notes page. And then we go into the February calendar, and then it does have this really cute navy and white striped ribbon as your um, page marker. It goes all the way through, and then let's see what we have at the end. Not much, just end of December, a notes page, and then that's it. So not a lot going on with this one, and then the um, little logo on the back. So it doesn't stay open as easily. I think if you're going to use this as a traditional planner, this would work really well. If you want to keep your schedule and to-dos and maybe some more notes, I really like this option. But I think that if you want to use more of just like kind of a fun creative journal, the Moleskine would be better. And I love that it lays flat and stays open. So... I think that if I don't end up going with the Hobonichi, I will use the Moleskine. I do really love this Emily Lay planner, but I think it's not um, kind of what my vision is right now. But I think that um, if I was to choose one of the two, I would go with the Moleskine. Still really undecided because I'm just so attached to having that weekly layout. Um, I feel like I have like seen it and I know that it exists in the Hobonichi. So it's got to be somewhere else too. Like it's just hard for me to believe that no one else has created a planner with all three um, of those layouts. So please let me know if you guys know of anything um, that has it. And again, I will ask for your feedback on the Hobonichi. I heard from several of you that said you use it and really love it. Um, so I am kind of leaning towards maybe um, using that for 2021, but I don't know. I like this Moleskine too. So I will let you guys know the final choice over on Instagram. So if you're not following me there, make sure to join my community. I'm sure I will do some update videos on YouTube as well. But anyway, I hope this was helpful for you guys. Let me know if you guys are familiar with these um, or if you've used any of them or again, any other suggestions that you have. 
If this was helpful and you enjoyed it, please do give it a thumbs up. I will say this again, your engagement on our videos is so helpful to content creators. So I really, really appreciate you guys liking and subscribing and leaving your comments. You guys are the best. All right, I will talk to you guys real soon. Bye.